Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I just wanted to do a quick video about heat shields on air filters and uh, if they do make a difference, if they make uh, more horsepower. And the short answer is yes, and the difference can be massive. I put a link to a article in the video description. It's uh, like a sort of an experiment I did uh, years and years ago, just measuring the difference in the intake temperature between an open air filter, a air filter with heat shields, uh, a rather various different setups of uh, heat shields so what the fuck is going on here make it worse if the heat shields are not done well um, and then two how much okay so the you can make the air colder but how much difference does the air, colder air make well the answer is huge I'll put a link to a video I did about this uh, comparing acceleration temperatures I think if I remember rightly it was at 7 and 17 Celsius uh, measuring the, uh, the acceleration uh, times again the difference was huge it shocked me so yes heat shielding is a definite win if it's done properly and uh, two yes colder air makes a huge difference to the acceleration times the, the the speed of a car so well worth doing as a side note if you when you're looking for a, a comb filter obviously it's very important to pick a filter that's the right size so i'll put another link in the video description to a calculator that's on the street and circuit website where, where it will give you a very ballpark figure of how big the filter needs to be for the horsepower your engine is making and, uh, and I'll put a link to another video at the end of this video which shows how you can use a vacuum gauge on a turbo car and normally aspirated car to identify if the air filter that you've got already is a restriction and what else oh and with the air filters we've been talking about how much difference cold air going into the engine makes so I just like to say that there's some big manufacturers out there who make air filters that have metal cages or plastic cages on the outside. I believe you need to avoid those like the plague. In my experience, those cages can get really, 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 really hot. And obviously if you've got um, a, a hot frame or a hot mesh and the air is, um, air is passing over that, it's obviously going to heat up the air which is for all the reasons I've just mentioned earlier in this video the absolute last thing you want so that's another thing to bear in mind when you're looking at what brand what type of uh, air filter you're going to be using on your car so guys that's the video I'll try to keep it concise as usual subscribe to the channel leave any suggestions or comments in the comment section of the video uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again next time